Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to talk with you about the use of a sling for the treatment of stress urinary incontinence. In this five to seven minute video, I'm going to define urinary incontinence. I'm going to discuss the use of a vaginal sling. I'll talk about the preparation that is necessary prior to the insertion of the sling. And then I will discuss with you briefly the risk and complications associated with this treatment option. Stress urinary incontinence is a common condition in women resulting in the loss of urine with coughing, sneezing, heavy lifting, or any movement that increases the pressure in the abdomen that is transmitted to the bladder. It usually results in the loss of very small volumes of urine and often requires the use of a panty liner or in severe cases, the use of diapers. So how does a sling work? A sling is a small piece of synthetic mesh material that supplies support to the urethra and is inserted in the vagina underneath the urethra. It is inserted through a small one inch opening in the vagina. The sling is inserted without any pressure at all upon the urethra. The sling has very tiny self-fixating hooks that will anchor into the muscles and allow tissue ingrowth into the mesh material to uh, supply support to the urethra, preventing stress incontinence. The sling procedure can be done under a local or a general anesthesia. The procedure takes about 10 or 15 minutes to do. It is usually done in the hospital or an ambulatory treatment center. The small opening is closed with absorbable sutures, so no sutures need to be removed in the post-operative period. You may have a catheter for a very short period of time, which will be removed in the recovery room. You will usually be discharged and sent home immediately after you're able to urinate. Now the preparations that you need prior to surgery is that you must stop aspirin, any aspirin products or any blood thinners like Plavix or Coumadin for seven to 10 days before the procedure. If your procedure is performed in the morning, do not consume any food or fluids after midnight. You will probably be prescribed an antibiotic which you take prior to the procedure. After the procedure, you will need a ride home because you will have received sedation or an anesthetic. Far and away, most of the patients require no pain medication after the procedure. You will need to take antibiotics for a few days after the procedure is over as prescribed by your doctor. I will recommend that you do not perform any heavy lifting for a period of three weeks after the procedure. I usually state nothing heavier than a bag of groceries. I will also recommend that you have no sexual intimacy, no douching until you are cleared in the postoperative period by your physician. The complications associated with the vaginal sling are very uncommon. They include bleeding, infection after the procedure, which is minimized by the use of antibiotics, and the success rate for this procedure is well over 95%, and over one million of these operations have been performed worldwide. Urinary retention is a temporary complication requiring a catheter for a day or two. Only rarely does the mesh erode into the vagina or through the urethra, and this uh, only happens in le far less than 1% of, of the cases. So what are the advantages of the sling? It is a safe procedure. 
It is very quick procedure, only 10 or 15 minutes, and has minimal or no pain or discomfort. There is no risk to injury of the major organs such as the bowel or bladder with the use of the vaginal sling. It is performed through a very tiny one inch opening in the vagina and it provides some of the best treatment for stress urinary incontinence. Finally, if you come to the hospital or the ambulatory treatment center and you are using panty liners or diapers, you can plan on leaving the center or the hospital and you won't have to depend on depends. I know you may have some additional questions regarding the use of the vaginal sling for the treatment of stress urinary incontinence and I would like to refer you to my website www neilbaum.com or you're welcome to give my office a call for more information at area code 504-891-8454. Thank you.